Hi guys. Well, it's Monday. Well, no, it's Sunday. It's the last day of uh, DoorDash week. Trying to get a couple more uh, hours in before pay. DoorDash's uh, week goes from Monday until Sunday. So I try to get as many hours in as I can between those days. I like to uh, go to my local mall area. That's where all the fast food places are. And uh, that's where I'm going right now. Some days, some days you get back-to-back -back orders and other days you just sit there in the mall for like hours. If I sit too long, I just end my shift. I just end it and go home because if I'm not going to make any money, there's no sense in me, uh, you know, sitting there waiting. So yeah. I'm off to dash so we'll see what today brings it's a pretty ugly day out today it's not raining but it is overcast and cold I don't know what it's going to be like this uh, winter hopefully it won't we won't get too much snow I'm not afraid to drive in the snow, but still, that's not very, uh, very good as far as I'm concerned. What I like about doing, doing DoorDash is this, that uh, even though I'm, on, I'm retired, it allows me to get money for the little odds and ends that I like, you know? and you're an independent contractor so that means you work any days hours except any anything that you want so my for the for the day i usually like to hit about 25 to 30 dollars a day some days some days it's more some days it's less but that's about my average when I hit about because you know I hit my 25 I'm happy so then I'll log off and I'll just let the young kids take care of it from there I don't feel obligated okay folks here I am. I'm sitting here waiting for a dash. Here we go. Coach Burger. I don't know if you can see this. I've always gotten tons of UTIs. Cranberry products never worked for me, and I was desperate for a way to be proactive. I'm Jenna Ryan, CEO and founder of Eucora. We've worked with doctors. 7.9 miles for nine bucks. Uh, we'll accept that. Okay, we're off to Coach Burgers. I just hope I don't get lost because it's out in the boonies, which means a lot of times the GPS will get you lost and then you have to deal with that well dude like I'm going to have to park in the front.
Okay, put my food in my hot bag. Okay, what I like to do is I like to put my uh, charger on my phone when I start to drive so that my phone doesn't uh, die. Okay, confirm the pickup. Get the directions. Head east toward Mall Road. Excuse my jacket. Sometimes it gets on my GoPro. Man, I'll tell you what, they're busy at the mall today. I might have to do I might have to take these out outlining ones. Easy there, buddy. Yeah, my navigator, she doesn't always talk to me. She'll start talking to me and then she'll stop. So I have to keep an eye on the map. I don't know about today. Today's looking pretty bad. I think this might be my last. Maybe I'll take a couple more. I don't know. Yeah, and that's about it. You wait until you get an order from DoorDash, you decide if you want to take it or not, you, de you take it or you decline it. Then once you accept it, you go to the restaurant, pick up the food, and then drive it to the customer, drop it off, and then you repeat the whole process over again. I don't know if you can see see the road. I noticed that on my last video, I didn't have my GoPro high enough and all you saw was We'll see once I get this footage home. Yeah, as you can see, today is a pretty pretty ugly day. I'm hoping that it will uh, clear up. The only problem that I have is the GPS sort of tells sort of sends you to the wrong place. And then you have to find the house and a lot of the houses don't have numbers on them so you have to try to find a house that does have a number and then you have to once you find the number of one house then you have to work your way back and try to figure out which house you're looking for Sort of nice to get out once in a while and drive around. This is about my, 
oh, I'd say about my third or fourth day doing this. And the more I do it, the more I uh, get familiar with uh, my area here. Gotta turn on Neville Avenue. Okay, I know where that's at. One good thing about today is I I'm running the heat in my car because it's cold outside, so that helps keep the the customers' uh, food hot. Looks like I'm... In a quarter mile, turn right onto North Sugar Street. It looks like, uh, oh, she's going to talk to me today. Tell you the truth, I, I liked it when she didn't talk to me because she always got me confused. It was better just looking at the, um, at the map. But I don't know, when you're in the car alone... <laughs> you like to have somebody talking to you once in a while, even if it is a navigator. Take the next right onto North Sugar Street, then turn right onto Newell Avenue. Okay, a right and then a left. because the map says I go straight. See, whenever the GPS says to make a left and then a right, They're talking about the intersection. And it's easier for me to just watch the map and see my little arrow on the map and just follow my car on the map. Because anytime you come up to an intersection, they'll tell you what to do at the intersection so if there's a road off to the left they'll tell you to stay right even though you're on that road already and I'm looking for a road to turn off on and uh, it's not there so like I said I like to uh, just watch my car on the map and not even listen to her, listen to the voice. As long as I stay on the little blue line, I'm happy. This seems a little bit more than seven miles. I hope it's a leave at the door. I like the leave at the door ones. Even though the other day it was a hand to customer. And when I got to their house and I handed it to him, he handed me a $5 bill as in a tip. Which was nice. That was my first, my first physical tip. On top of the tip that he left in the app. Yeah, these are the kind of roads that 
I'm I'm used to these backwood backwood roads. Some of them are kind of dirt roads. I can understand why people when they live out this far and they get hungry, they want to door dash some food to them and they're willing to pay a little extra to have somebody deliver it, which is nice in my air area because I've got a nice car, nice reliable car, so it works out for the both of us. Seems like it's a little bit longer than seven miles, though, DoorDash. If the GPS has taken me to the right house. Yeah, this one looks like it's taken me way out in the boonies. This might be my last one for today because I'm way out of my zone.
Hi, <laughs> DoorDash for Susan now. <laughs> okay. Um... I just gave it out. No shot, dude. That that order I just with a salad. Uh, let me check. Because if it's a salad, I just hand it out. Because I didn't know what order it is. Yep, I handed it out. The wrong guy. Yeah, he's a real happy. All right.